Hello, this senior design project is about the design and installation of a particle image velocimetry experiment for undergraduate laboratories at UCF. We'll start off with team introductions. We had two components to the team, starting with the CFD team. Hello, I'm Tyson Cole. Hi, my name is Jeremy Stallworth. Hi, I'm Christine Robertson. Hello, I'm Jay Salinas. I'm Cole Sawyer. Hi, I'm Rachel Hardevin. And I'm Amy Levinoff. These are our advisors and stakeholders. On the left, we had two primary advisors and stakeholders, and then on the right was our industry representative. We'll start off with background from Jay. The objective of this senior design uh, project is the design and installation of a particle imaging velocimetry experimental facilities. Uh, PIV is an optical method of flow visualization used in education and research um, to used to obtain instantaneous velocity measurements and related uh, fluid proper properties in a cross section of a flow. It has been used in a vast range of research problems from simple flow over an airfoil uh, to an entire aircraft wing and to research involving the SARS-CoV-2 virus and doing fluid droplets coming from humans when they sneeze, cough, or uh, talk to another humans. And I'm going to pass it to Rachel uh, regarding the broader impacts. So the biggest broader impact of our experiment is that we are giving um, the opportunity for undergraduate and graduate students to learn about a modern diagnostic technique and implement that into our engineering curriculum for measurements labs and then eventually also energy systems and other graduate labs. So a really big benefit of understanding this technique is that when the students enter the job market in the future, they'll have a, like a little bit of a better insight into the R&D sector of engineering as this is a very common technique. Additionally, we are offering insight into computational fluid dynamics because the experiment itself has a simulation portion along with a experimental portion, allowing them to match those things up. And doing so, our team was also better prepared for the job market because we got an insight into very modern techniques used today. Um, lastly, our team handled COVID really well by meeting with our smaller groups individually. So the CFD team and the lab team would meet frequently. And we'd also meet once a week as an entire group along with meeting with our advisor so everyone could stay on schedule. And then Cole is gonna show a little bit more about what the experimental slide did. So in the video displayed is an example of a lab experiment being run. The controller shown manages the flow type and speed of the flow. Um, inside the tank are cedar particles illuminated by an LED light, which are captured by the camera displayed. This camera takes images that are analyzed and post-processed with software. And next I'll pass it over to Christine. So our modeling and simulation team use CFD software to model the system in ANSYS and STAR CCM. The first two pictures on the left-hand side depict the initial geometry of the system with the nozzle and cylinder in place for each respective software. The second set of pictures shows the meshes used for each. For consistency between both models, the same values and calculations were used in creating both simulations, and these can be seen on the far right of the slide. Next, I'll pass it to Tyson to compare some results. After getting the final results from the ANSYS and STAR CCM programs, they were compared to the PIB system results. Um, outside of some blockage from the light screen, it was shown that the velocity around the similar, as well as coming from the no no nozzle, are visually similar as well as within range. Um, there were some challenges in learning the simulation programs as many of us were new. However, we were able to successfully get them to match the results. And now next is we're gonna to go to the conclusions. So through research and multiple tests, we were able to successfully build a PIV system, which will be implemented in the undergrad lab. Our results were verified through the CFD analysis using ANSYS and STAR CCM. This project will be used as the foundation for a future senior design team, which will be able to con continue by completing the five remaining PIV systems and creating lab experiments, investigating flow over various shapes. Thanks for watching our presentation on particle image velocimetry.